Alright, so this is test server. I am currently using Sorcery and I'll be testing the Stats Matter 1.1 using uh, Sorcery as a power set. So, going into my stats, since you might want to see that, I do crits first, get all the crits, and then I do, I put like half uh, my skill points into precision and half into might, since you will be using your weapon and your powers just as much as each other. Okay, so, um, Iconics are gone. Uh, super speed, I go, you really only need speed force, but since uh, stats matter relies a lot on power management, um, I think it's kind of worth getting these, because when you break out, you'll regen power, and it's it's just like, it just seems viable now, it seems like something you'd want to do, but if you don't want to do that, you can just get speed force so you can move around quickly, alright, now going into my loadout, also my weapon, I'll go into my weapon real quick, so I use hand blasters, you don't have any more stats down here, you don't, you like to master your weapon, all you need to do is go down to this, this slot here, and the rest are like the combos you can do, but I only get scissor kick, um, solar flame, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, that's all, that's all I really wanted out of the weapon. But um, going into the loadouts, some things have changed. Uh, Karmic Suspension is a supercharged generator. And I'll say right off the bat for Sorcery, as far as it is on Test Server 1.1, it plays very sim similar to, um, to how it does on live game. So this is a, a cool thing about Sorcery. If you have a certain loadout on live game, you'll pretty much be able to move it into Test Server. As long as you're using a Fury and Offering which are pretty much standard for any sorcery DPS, uh, you'll be fine. Also, I suppose you can now go burst damage and just exclude the pet, but I, I don't see why you do that because the Fury still hits hard. So it's still worth using the Fury, but if you want to try and make a burst damage loadout, you can go ahead. There's probably a good one, actually, but I'm not going to bother with that. I still like using the Fury because uh, Grand Summoning is still OP, So, and I'll show you that later. Um... Yeah, so this is your supercharged generator, Circle of Destruction, now inflicts bad karma. You don't need to inflict bad karma in order to make it hit hard. It just, now it just does it. I don't know if it still hits the same though, but um, it inflicts bad karma and that's going to help transmutation hit harder. Now, transmutation has changed. This animation is different. It kind of looks like Fury's uh, transmutation animation or one of the animations the Fury has. So this is what it looks like now. It shoots a ball at your target, and it does hit pretty hard once they're, they're inflicted with bad karma. But here's the downside. If your target moves before that ball hits them, it'll miss. That is a pretty big negative if you're, like, shooting it and your tank, like, pulls them away or something. But you can just wait till the ads are grouped up and the tank's not moving them anymore, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it still hits hard, though, so it's, it's worth having in there. I haven't tried i'm not and i'm not gonna try soul siphon well actually you know what i will give all these other powers a chance this is just like a quick loadout i found i just copied my live game loadout and uh excluding this slot because this is where i used to have um shards of life and yeah so this is basically my live game loadout uh, offering gives power to the fury and once the fury gets power it hits harder and restoration barrels still seem to affect the fury so that's gonna uh, give the fury power and make it just constantly put out those hits um and i'm pretty sure grand summoning is still affected by supply drops and restoration barrels so that's pretty cool as well all right so now i'll just jump into this crowd just to show you, I guess, what a normal rotation would look like. At least from what I've seen so far. Circle. Transmute. Offering. Transmute. Also, I'm not saying that uh, you do need to uh, use weapon combo. So, my weapon combo of choice is Solar Flare. As you can see, those ads died pretty quick. Uh, it's not going to one-shot them like on live game. Because on live game, you'll hit them for like... Your Fury will hit them for like 50k and they'll pretty much be one-shotted. That's not how it's going to work on a uh, test server. So, And I'll show you again just to show you what the Fury itself will hit on targets. It's about 16k at 173 CR and it still does go off your CR from what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I mean it still died pretty quick. Like it halved these two ads immediately. So Fury is still good. It's still worth using. Definitely have it in your loadout. 
unless you're trying to go for a full burst damage uh, rotation. But um, I don't know. It just seems to me like the Fury can immediately put out a consistent 16k. So you might just want to go for that instead of going for a chance of hitting 16k by just using burst damage, if you know what I mean. Also, it doesn't seem like using the Fury is going to make uh, your normal powers not crit. And I'll show you what I mean here. Um, let me put down circle. I don't know if... Uh, God damn, he keeps flying. See, like, if they fly away or if they move, your power is going to miss. Transmute's going to miss. And it missed again. Okay. Now you're seeing why why I don't like the what they did to transmute. Because transmute used to be... You would cast it and it would just immediately hit the target. Now it, like... Now it just moves slowly until it touches the target. And the target, if the target moves, you lose that damage. Like, it's gone. So why would you change the animation for something that wasn't broken and didn't need fixing in the first place? Uh, I don't really see why they did that. But whatever. I guess this is what you have to deal with if you want to use transmutation. But you just saw, like, transmute was still critting regardless of the fury being out. Um... And uh, I guess what I'll show next is Grand Summoning. Grand Summoning is now 100% supercharge. And this may sound like a lot, but you have to realize on Tesser or like on Stats Matters, you build supercharge very quickly. They're trying to go for this thing where you can either, you can like go the supercharge route or go or go like burst damage or something. I, I don't know what their idea is, but I just know um, you build supercharge really fast. So using the supercharge generator, and your normal combos and your powers and stuff, uh, you'll get yourself to 100% supercharge within like probably the same amount of time it takes to build 50% supercharge on live games. So just keep that in mind. It's not that big a deal having it be 100% super. Plus, if you have like if you have like the uh, what are they called uh, the head mod threes, the freaking I think it's Grand Summoning 3 head mod from Time Capsules. If you have that, whenever you spend Grand Summoning, you'll get it back faster because it generates 150 supercharge for like 5 seconds. But Grand Summoning itself in the broker on live game is like a $20 million, um, it's like a $20 million mod for your head, for your uh, white socket on your head mod. So uh, just keep that in mind, it's not cheap, but if you have it, it's definitely going to help you out. Um, okay, now we have a grand summoning. So I guess I'll go into a large group of ads. Yeah, I'll just tag all these Cyclopses. Oh, I should have put on a supply drop and stuff. I messed up. I might I might do that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know if I have a supply drop, to be honest. Okay, let's tag them. All right, now I'll hit grand summoning. And you'll see that it still works the same way. The... Um, Guardians take an aggro, the Furies just dropping damage on them. There's two Furies out, so they're going to die pretty fast. And uh, Offering still gives them power. So, yeah, Grand Summoning still OP, <laughs> and it lasts a decent amount of time. So, um, you probably want to have that in your loadout. Um, I suppose now I'll just show you what a normal rotation looks like. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, uh, so I'll... I'll just stick to Grand Summoning. I'm not going to show you what uh, the other supercharges. Actually, maybe I should. Maybe I should so show uh, Polymorph and all that dude. Because I might, I might uh, actually be surprised. They might hit hard. So, yeah, I guess I'll build some super and just try out those, I guess. Try out those supers. Then maybe I should put on other burst damage moves to see if they hit hard. It just, It just feels to me like... This is so similar to live game, as far as the way it plays. Except for freaking transmutation, man. That's my. That's the worst thing they could have done to transmutation. Just made that a just shitty ball that travels slowly to the target, and if the target moves, they don't even get hit. Like that really sucks. But everything else seems pretty good. Whoa! I tagged a lot of ads. I, I, uh, the, why am I stuttering? The Fury itself should have aggro though, so I won't even really get hit by them. Or at least I shouldn't. Maybe I was wrong. 
Am I hitting more than the Fury? Because they should be targeting the Fury, not me. That was a large group of ads, and I almost killed them all. This Gorgon might kill me, but... Actually, let's see. Nope, I killed it. So I killed that entire group of ads by myself. Keep in mind that they're 186s. They hit hard. And CR scaling is gone, but I'm only 173, which means my uh, defense isn't that high. So they're hitting me pretty freaking hard at their CR. You will have to deal with the fact that if you're fighting something that has a higher CR than you, it means your defense won't be capable of like taking their damage fully. Like basically absorbing or negating their damage fully. So CR scaling may be gone, but I mean... They still hit hard, and your defense is still not decent enough to um to just tank them completely without uh, dying fast, basically. All right, so now I have a full supercharge bar. That didn't take too long to build. All right, so I'll take Grand Summoning off, and I'll try... What was it? Polymorph? You know what? I, I might really be surprised by Polymorph. Like... I'm pretty sure this is a healing super. Uh, into Nope, this is a damage super. So I'm going to use this one first, since I saw it before the rest. Huh? It looked like it just applied a heavy dot, and it has a pretty big cooldown. Alright, so now I'll try Polymorph. Polymorph, where are you? Where is it? Shield. Yeah, I'll just go over that in the healing video. I'll probably make it later. All right, there's Polymorph. Uh, I'll target this Minotaur with it. What? Another dot. I mean, it's a heavy dot, but that's nowhere in comparison, like, to Grand Summoning, in my opinion. Grand Summoning is still the way to go, especially just based on how long it lasts. Um, now I'll just try out some other burst damage powers that I didn't use, so I'll replace this, so this slot with Soul Storm. now inflicts bad karma. I don't know if that was always the case, but if it was, then I guess nothing's changed. Whoa, hold on. I mean, it's not spammable, though, but it seems like it hits pretty hard. That could have just been my fury, though. Yeah, that was, I mean, it's hitting decent, but it's like the Fury was what actually lowered its health that quickly. I should probably dismiss the Fury. And right, let's try again. Yeah, it's not hitting that great. But it hits fast. It definitely hits faster than freaking Transmute. Alright, so I'll replace that with something else. Let me back off. I don't know, how far do I need to run? Alright, there we go. Uh, nah, I don't want to use Soul Siphon, but I will. First, let's go into Soul Storm. Wait, what? Condemn? Yeah, let's try Condemn. I'm pretty sure this is still single target. But, what? It's a dot? Was it always a dot? It doesn't matter, it has a long cooldown. I don't think you want to use it. And it dotted like four times. Damage. Alright. Use Soul Storm, Soul Barrage. I don't think I've used that. Alright, let's see. Soul Barrage. What? Fairly long cooldown. Doesn't hit too great. Huh. Actually, let me try that one more time. Actually, that's not bad. But it looks like distance does affect it. So, say say I'm like... Um, I need an ad real quick. Say I'm like this far away. Let me target. Yeah, only two of them hit it. So distance does def definitely does affect this, uh, this move. So if you're far... Only a couple of the balls will actually hit the target, or... What? 
that okay these two didn't hit like two of them went past it but two of them did hit it if you're close they'll all hit but if you're far away they won't i don't like that power because it seems distance does affect it and it, it's another one of those uh freaking they try to make every projectile like a ball power like you shoot a ball at your target and if they move they don't get hit like i don't understand that Oh, let's test Final Ruin. 35s are good now, so... It seems like the 35s just work like, uh... What's that power for gadgets? Gadgets... Photon Beam. Photon Blast. Like, it, they hit multiple times. Oh, man, there's another. I won't be able to even hit it. See, they hit hard, man. I'm 173 CR. My defense ain't good enough. But at least the trade-off is you're you're able to do full damage on them. You know you're not just uh you're not screwed by CR scaling anymore, or lowering your damage. But you you also don't benefit from uh, CR scaling when your CR is higher than theirs, even by like 30, they'll still be able to destroy you. Like take on a raid ad that um like say the ads from um what's it called? New Genesis. Take on those ads at like 170 CR. Even if they're 120s, they'll still destroy you if you're doing it alone. As a tank, as a DPS, as a healer. So it's like it's like a double-edged sword being that CR scaling is gone. See, like every 35% it works like Photon Beam. It just hits multiple times. This one's not impressive though. What the hell? Like it's not impressive at all. Yeah, it's hitting 4Ks, and that ad was at 35%. What the fuck? Also, uh, my might is uh, 10,002. I am fully modded. Uh, at the moment, you can't buy uh, the gear, the, the Typhon gear. You can't buy it because it doesn't. They don't give you the ancient coins from the boxes. You can you can get them by doing the uh, what's it called? the duo and the raids but I'm, am i gonna grind like 300 duos and raids and stuff just to get all this gear so i can test no i'm not gonna do that all right so that's the 35 percenter it's not that good uh that's arbiter of destiny increasing your power regeneration reducing cooldowns weapon attacks are not usable in this form that is for healing do not want to use that as a DPS, um, as far as I know. I don't know. Uh, what else is there to test? Do, 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 do. Transcendence, that's a shield. Karmic Backlash. Let's try Karmic Backlash. What? Did it even hit? The reason I'm trying out these powers, by the way, is because you never know, like... Some of the more useless powers have been upgraded as far as every power that's currently on test server. So it's worth at least checking. So that's why I'm doing it. Uh, I can't even break out of this. What? I need my Fury to kill them. Fury's still OP. Alright. Damage. And uh, so well. No, I'm not going to wait for three soul wells just so I can hit its max damage. Soul siphon, I guess. This will be the last power I try. But I hope, ho hopefully from like this video, what you get is um, you can still play your classic sorcery loadout that's on live game. And I always felt like sorcery wouldn't really need to be changed for Stats Matters because it played much in the way that old powers used to play, except... Uh, sorcery now has pets, so it wouldn't. It, it would have like really been a bummer if like they nerfed the pets and forced you to use burst damage, because um, I always felt sorcery was a fun power to play. Sorcery and Earth, because you could use your weapon, clip in powers, and then clip in your uh, your power regen for your pet, and it just felt like a a fun way to play the play the game because it was always so active. It wasn't just hit this power, hit that power, and then get a big hit from this power. You know? Um, but yeah, it seems like sorcery is 
going to play this uh, basically the same way it does on live game aside from this supercharged generator which is actually a, a very cool thing because it hits multi-target it inflicts bad karma and it helps your transmute uh, hit harder and it generates supercharge also circle will give you uh, bad karma so you have like two moves on your bar that can inflict bad karma and that's just the benefit of um I guess being a sorcery DPS at this point. So yeah, uh, that's the end of this video. Um, pretty sure the next video I make will be gadgets because that's also on test server. And then I just do DPS for like gadgets um, and atomic because right now what's on uh, what's new on test is sorcery gadgets and atomic. So I'll just do DPS videos for those three, and then support role videos, and then I'll see you whenever they release the last batch of powers. Um, to test server. So yeah, peace.